Hey Leo, welcome to your monthly reading for July 2022. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We are gonna go through some general messages for you guys for the month of July. So take what resonates, obviously leave the rest. You guys can check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. I am obviously outside at the cottage, so um, hopefully it's not too windy or loud, <laughs> but um, I'll kind of make sure that there, there's not too much noise, but let's see what's going on for you, Leo. What does Leo need to know for July? All right, we got a few here. Bottom of the deck, we have Virgo, I analyze. We also have the moon with soul. We have Neptune with sacrifice. And we have Sagittarius, I see. Okay, so I feel like you're seeing the bigger picture on something. Um, you may be letting go of some form of an illusion, like being more practical um, with this Virgo energy because you are seeing the bigger picture of something. Um, I do feel like there's something that you are wanting to achieve, but with this Neptune, it's interesting because um, actually the day that I'm recording this is right before Neptune goes retrograde. So there could be having to let go or release some form of um, illusion or just even this feeling of like having to let go of something because even the moon can talk about like illusions right so maybe you're starting to see the bigger picture of something that you couldn't see before but there's something very um there's something very uh how do you say this like i feel like you're seeing the bigger picture so you're either coming to some sort of a realization or you're just starting to become very practical about something um but let's see see what else is coming out here for you Leo let's see what this could be about it's also gonna be something like emotional as well okay like being very, starting to kind of come back down to earth around something Neptune is Pisces energy which is the opposite of Virgo okay so it could also be like if you've been too much in this like Neptunian space this Piscean space like dreamy again kind of like illusionary space it almost feels like you're trying to come back down to earth and, and re um reground yourself a little bit like balancing out the two energies so we have signs from nature we have healing old wounds we have push and pull energy and we have mirroring so there's something that's being reflected to you we have eternal love <clears throat> i do feel like um there's almost like this with this push and pull energy there's a some sense of like a resistance around <clears throat> something that's being there's some sort of like resistance in a situation it's reflecting an, a wound to you that needs to be healed it's like a sign so pay attention to that it could be around love and relationships for sure um <clears throat> sorry for my voice but yeah it feels like there's something that's kind of being reflected to you that I feel like with that signs from nature it's like you're being asked to kind of pay attention to it okay let's see and that could be a little bit of this reflection right like reflecting on something <coughs> Leo we have the crown chakra And we have intuition. Okay, so definitely pay attention to your intuition at this time, Leo. Um, we have four of wands. Could be around a relationship or just like in order to achieve success, four of wands, I feel like there's this sense of, and even material harvest behind that nine of pentacles. So it's like in order to, and victory and success. So yeah, so like if you're trying to achieve something or you're trying to um, <clears throat> move in some sort of direction, I feel like following your intuition is going to be important here. We have the ace of pentacles, six of wands, uh, nine of pentacles four of wands so it's like some sort of personal achievement or personal success when it comes to something maybe new if there's something new or you're starting something then i would say that like you know trust your intuition follow your gut follow where you're being guided um, because it's trying to show you something and even with this moon energy right like something's trying to be expressed or shown to you in some way um 
But let's see. See what we need to know here, Leo. I'm just kind of, I got a few decks here, so I'm trying to just pick and choose my, which one I feel drawn to. <clears throat> so let's see, Leo. What does Leo need to know for July? What does Leo need to know for July, please, spirit? Five of Swords. Some of you may have Aries in your chart or you're dealing with an Aries. So we have the Five of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. The Moon again. Four of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. The Seven of Wands. And the Page of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So some sort of like truth coming to light. Um... I also feel like there's a sense of like, again, that clarity. I feel like maybe some of you have been in a little bit of a fog or not fully seeing the bigger picture. It feels like you're going to get the bigger picture in a situation. Um, but again, moon, four pentacles, two of swords, like some of you have not been seeing this or it's almost like you've been blinded. You've been hiding behind some sort of an illusion, like not sure what to do. So you just haven't been maybe making any sort of move. Like, I feel like you're really, with this Five of Swords, it's coming across as, like, determination to, like, feel successful or feel happy. Nine and Ten of Cups. This could also be relationships that you've struggled in. Um, five of Swords is, like, a card of conflict, and we do also have the Moon and the Three of Swords um, in that row. So it's, like, it feels, for some of you, like, you've struggled when it comes to relationships or situations that have been kind of, like, disappointing or, you know, maybe you felt like you've been hard done by or just even like things just haven't worked right like it's kind of this struggle of when it comes to you know a feeling of emotion here hiding your emotions or even just like hiding maybe even how you feel to yourself like maybe there's something again like an old wound that you're needing to heal from that you've maybe been kind of blocking out I do feel like though there's kind of this new beginning adventure something exciting coming in here or some form of communication that Again, maybe you're, look, you're, some of you are kind of blocking this, the Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords, or you're not open to it. Because some of you have definitely been hurt by relationships and you're wanting to kind of like heal in some way um, or needing to heal in some way. Some of you have just really been focusing on yourself and your own happiness. Let's see. Why is this Five of Swords here for Leo? Clarify this Five of Swords here for Leo. The moon is also shadow work. So again, with regards to like healing old wounds, I do feel like this is a time to kind of do that. Why is this Five of Swords here for Leo, please? With the Empress. Um, yeah, so like a hard time receiving or stress even around receiving what it is that you want. Yeah, we have the devil. It's like there's a block here. You've like a struggle. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Ace of Cups. So yeah, like receiving love. I feel like on a personal level, like you're, you're all good, but there's like changes in love or wanting to have some sort of change in love. Um, you know, that like brings you your ten of cups situation sorry this wind is like really loud <laughs> i mean while it's like not crazy windy right where i am it's just like the trees moving um why is this moon here eight of pentacles queen of swords yeah it's like got needing to do some internal work i feel like um yeah four of swords some healing work Getting to the bottom of something is kind of what it feels like with the Queen of Swords, like sorting something out emotionally. Why is this Four of Pentacles here? Four of Wands. So again, wanting to have some sort of like achievement. The Four of Wands is twice. This feels like it has to do with relationships, but there's like a stress or a worry or... It's like maybe just things haven't been working. You're trying to figure out like why have things not been working? Like why can I either not find new love or why my re current relationship is why is it not like heading in the direction that I want it to head into 
Why is it a struggle to find the person I'm looking for, the commitment, the relationship? We have the Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Magician. I feel like, and then we have the Nine of Cups. I feel like you're manifesting something that you that you want, but I, I do feel like there's a sense of having to acknowledge a burden of some sort. Okay, Ten of Wands. I also feel like though you're, you are manifesting someone who's really gonna wanna put in the work here. Someone who's really gonna wanna cut down your blockages, your barriers, like somebody who wants to really put in the energy and the effort towards you here. Um, it's going to be some sort of like a wish fulfillment. Like I feel like you're good on your own, but you're hoping and wishing for this Ace of Cups so you can get to this like Ten of Cups, you know? This is Two of Swords here for Leo. Six of Wands. Some of you don't see this victory over this heartache that you're like, you may feel like you're just kind of struggling in love. Yeah, three of, three of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Wands, which we also have beside it here. Some of you are just not wanting to get hurt. You're kind of like protecting yourself. You have the Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands, Justice, like, this is Page of Wands, because I feel like there's somebody maybe new here. This is Page of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're gonna get back out there. You're gonna feel more like yourself. You're gonna feel more grounded and balanced here. It might take some time with the Seven of Pentacles, or sorry, this Knight of Pentacles here seven of wands where it's like you're slowly opening yourself up but i also feel like you're trying to hold hold boundaries some of you this love this love situation these struggles that you've gone through have had you put up boundaries in a positive way and so now it's about finding the right person who's going to you know honor and value you queen queen of pentacles and nine of pentacles i feel like you could maybe start talking to someone new Seven of Cups, King of Cups, King of Wands. Some of you might have a couple options. You might be looking at two different people or just maybe just keeping your options open. Okay. Tower. Okay, some of you might have an, like more offers than you're expecting or that you're thinking of the Emperor. I feel like you're looking for the person who is going to, again, like fill that, that role. There's definitely some form of communication though happening this month with someone. But I, I feel like someone has to kind of like, there's like a breaking down of walls that maybe needs to happen here. I feel like someone's determined to do that though. And that could even just be you determined to find love because you're tired of having blockages in love. You know what I mean? It could even be your own energy. Like you're wanting to put yourself back out there or put yourself out there in general because you just really want things to move forward in your love life. You know, like tired of the same old story. But I do feel like there's something here emotional or something here deeper that you're maybe having to process. So there might be some sort of healing that's coming up for you. That's like, again, if there's this push and pull energy and this healing energy of an old wound, like something might come back up to the surface. Or again, if you're meeting some resistance in your love, like this really just feels like love life, honestly. <laughs> It's like, or just your connections with people. You're like, how can I bring in what I'm looking for? And it's, I think there's something that you're needing to heal. And I think once you heal that, then you're going to be able to move forward in a, in a positive direction for yourself. And I think you might even have more options or opportunities in love than you're, th than you're maybe even going to realize. Um, let's get a final message from this deck. Final message for Leo, July, 2022. So it looks good because I feel like if you do the healing work, again, follow your intuition, follow your, you know, where you're being kind of called and led to. There's definitely like a strong spiritual element here, but there's also a need to kind of ground your energy as well. We have the King of Swords. Final message for Leo in July. The Ace of Wands. So a newfound sense of like inspiration, passion. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you are going to have a new person who really wants to invest into you. Um, we have the Empress here twice. So I feel like you're looking very attractive right now. You're really moving in a positive direction. If you guys are focusing on any sort of projects, I feel those are going to start to grow and manifest. But I also feel like if you're talking to someone, there could be a new, a new spark between you and a person or just a spark between you and a person. 
that um, I feel like you're really wanting to put a lot of time and energy into, and I feel like so are they. Yeah, lovers behind the Seven of Pentacles. High Priestess, follow your gut when it comes to this person or just your love life in general. Like we got the King of Wands, King of Cups, King of Swords. The only one we're missing is the King of Pentacles. So you've got, I feel like you've got options there, Leo, in love. Um, but I feel like it's a matter of like overcoming your own barriers or just working through some healing energy in order to kind of like get yourself back out there or being able to um, have the um, confidence to kind of put yourself back out there again too. Okay, so that is what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully that resonates. Let me know down below. If not, you can check out any of the other um, signs in your chart. But I hope you guys have a wonderful, re uh, wonderful reading, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.